this is Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly against online ranked opponents. All right, guys, this is the second part of my two-part, uh, or actually my three-part series, which is going to be the single back Titan doubles out of the Houston Texans playbook. Uh, the last play I actually showed you guys um, it was basically a combination of the slot corner and one of the base audibles, which is going to be the halfback dive. All right, so guys, what I want to show you uh, is basically a couple other base plays that I'm going to call in this scheme to actually go ahead and try to attack my opponent. So um, one of the things we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to try to establish a running game. Now, uh, with the uh, fullback dive, this is going to basically force your opponent uh, to uh, basically try to stop this uh, this particular play. You get your opponent running cover fours, basically meaning that you got two safeties coming down and run, playing run fits. You're going to essentially be in a good um, situation against your opponent. Now, um, another play that you can incorporate in one of your base plays you can call as a stretch to be able to attack your opponent on the outside. And what's good about this particular play is instead of running on the inside, you can run on the outside, um, and uh, you can you can essentially go ahead and attack your opponent uh, it, uh, on the outside of the play instead of running the inside, opposed to that halfback dive. So this will actually keep your opponent honest with their run fits. Right now, um, I can go ahead and just basically fake a bunch of audibles, move my guy over, and now I'm going to go ahead and take that ball to the outside. I'm going to get that outside leverage, on, and I could if I got a good run right there, I probably would have took that to the house. So that's what I do like about this particular play is that uh, it's going to give you those run fits. And uh, right there, actually, uh, the defensive back uh, just basically block sheds right off. So uh, keeping that uh, keeping that motion guy across, this is going to basically go ahead and, and allow you uh, to get some big plays. As you can see right there, I was able to get a nice big chunk of change right there on the ground incorporating uh, this particular stretch play and I like to go ahead and at least show the motion uh, that actually will put that tackle uh, against uh, my outs my edge defender my outside de defender um, if I want to go ahead and run off to the other side so I do motion and I just go ahead and quick hike to get that tackle against that edge defender and hopefully I get a nice uh, block by my, my number one wide receiver another base play you can call if your opponent's using a lot of zone coverage so they're using a lot of cover two they're uh, basically going ahead and, and doing cross manning um, that you know you can you can use that type of a, a concept so let's see if we can get um, some random zone coverages um, and basically going to go ahead and show our opponent the same type of look and but this time you're going to essentially wait for your blocks to set up uh, and pick up a nice little run right there holding on the turbo button is not going to help you with your running game at all uh, but if you got an opponent that's using a lot of zone coverage uh, this is going to help you uh, go ahead and attack that. Uh, definitely a good play to call down in the end zone too if you want to stay in this formation. Most players, most smart players, what they do is they're going to they're going to basically fag up the coverage. And I've actually gotten a lot of good touchdowns uh, in the red zone uh, area by using a a draw because most opponents uh, have to go ahead and start putting uh, defenders in the area and they just uh, they, they don't have the patience uh, to go ahead and do that. So draw is another good way to go ahead and attack your opponent. So let's go and jump into the third and final play of these uh, alternate plays that you can call as base plays in this single back tight doubles. All right, so we looked at the draw, and the next play we're going to take a look at is going to be the halfback slip screen. Now, uh, when it comes to slip screens, I always look for something that actually catches my attention. So uh, let's take a look at um, a halfback slip screen. Now, slip screens that I like using, I like using slip screens that actually have a fast man read. So that's a fast cut. As you can see right here, the halfback slip screen out of the ace, uh, single back ace twins, not a very good slip screen. Um, also, the halfback slip screen, slip screen out of the single back bunch base, still not a very good slip screen. Um, the, the only slip screens I like is they actually have a fast read. As you can see right here, the single back doubles actually has got a quick little out. Uh, I got a quick out here out of the gun ace pair flex. Uh, that's actually nice uh, uh, nice to have that. And I've also got the halfback slip screen out of the gun doubles actually has a nice little out. And so does the slip screen out of the, uh, the gun tight. So the, one of the things I do look for is just a fast out. And then the single back tight doubles actually has that in its formation. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to have a fast and easy way to diagnose whether you have man or, or zone coverage. So basically, if it's man coverage, uh, I'm going to be looking for Hopkins to the quick out. And then if it's zone coverage, I'll look to the slip screen underneath. Now, once again, I still want to show my opponent the same type of look. 
And as you can see right here, um, actually the defenders came in in a blitz, but I was able to go ahead and get that ball off with a bad pass uh, by Osweiler, which you'll see in all these little tutorials. So um, when I've got a situation like this, I'm going to go ahead and just take the slip screen and I'm going to pick up a good 10 yards against my opponent even more if he's using a lot of zone coverage and he doesn't man up the running back. So I'm going to go ahead and snap the ball once again and nobody comes out uh, and bad pass by Osweiler. Just a terrible quarterback. He's definitely not good. I feel far, I feel sorry for you guys um, if, if you're using him because um, you're a, t a Titans fan. So once again, you got another block. This time it was man coverage, and that's why I looked for this quick out with my number one wide receiver because you can turn that house if he's not paying, paying attention. So I actually snapped this ball a little bit quick, and that actually provides me an additional blocker um, under the slip screen to go ahead and take away the rush. And as you can see right here, the the the, the actual the, the running back actually was available on this because there wasn't a defender in the area. But I also want to be looking to this guy first because against man coverage, uh, basically uh, he should be wide open against with with a quick out against an, uh, against a defender. But what's good about this particular play is that it's just going to go ahead and throw your opponent uh, just another scheme he's probably not used to seeing. So if you get the good blocking like right here, uh, you have an opportunity to go house with a good running back. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you one more video, a part three of the single back tight doubles uh, formation. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a couple different audibles uh, that you're going to go ahead and jump into in this particular scheme that you can go ahead and attack your opponent with. Once again, if you do like these tips, once again, hit the like button um, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, you're going to be able to go ahead and see these live in action against real life opponents. So to my subscribers, I appreciate the support. And until